I'm laying on the creeper on the ground, but I wanted to show you guys for reference. Here's the slave cylinder. Here's my drive shaft. Uh, I don't know. Uh, however big my hand is, right? That's probably a good three and a half, four inches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this wheel with my jack as much as I can until it maxes out. And then I will take a look at this distance, see if the drive shaft gets any closer, and then I will take the truck with my hand and wiggle it as much as possible to try to get it to bottom out or flex as much as it's going to flex. These are leaf springs, solid front axle. It shouldn't flex too much, but I want to make sure that I don't figure out that it's going to hit this slave cylinder when I'm out on a trail somewhere. So for now, this is okay. There's no contact here. Okay, so just so you can see what I'm doing here, uh, we are flexed out essentially. The blazer's on its side. I just jacked up one wheel and got it to the point where it is um, just about to lift the opposite side up. And I've put my hand up here and I've been pulling on it to, to shake it down. Now, when we go underneath, whoop, there is still a ton of room for the for the drive shaft before it hits the slave so even if you were beating on this thing quite a bit I still do not think your drive shaft would hit that at all now I've said this before I believe I am lifted a bit I do have another stock blazer over here now when I bought it I thought I thought I recall I was told it was a four inch lift when I measured the distance from, there's both 32 inch tires from the wheel arch to the top of the tire and the wheel arch to the top of the tire, it was maybe like two inches, inch and a half at that point. So I don't know the suspension on these things all that well. I don't think this guy is lifted all that much, but that external slave is, uh, doesn't appear to be an issue. So at this point I can weld my exhaust fully back up and that's pretty much it for the five speed swap. Drive shaft, everything is good to go. Nothing needed to be lengthened. All right, last update on the five speed swap. We have the shifter, everything in, took over a test drive, transmission works. Now, I did what I said I didn't want to do, but I was probably going to do. Instead of unbolting the entire transfer case mount and shifting it back to make room for the entire transfer case shifting boot and the five speed boot, what I did instead, I left it where it was because there's enough room for the transmission. It's just the boot gets in the way of this other tranny boot. The tranny boot gets in the way of the transfer case boot. So I cut it, I cut the transfer case boot so that it stayed in its stock location, didn't get in the way of anything. And then I, um, I put the boot for the transmission in this, you know, in the normal place, bolted it to the floor just with some, some, you know, sheet metal screws that it came with. And that's it. Didn't have to adjust the transfer case linkage at all. You can unbolt the entire mounting for the transfer case, shift it back, adjust the linkage on the transfer case underneath. There's a little bolt, you can thread it and unthread it. And then um, and then you probably would be able to fit both of these in there without cutting it. But I'm gonna jump out of the truck right now and show you how much I cut off. You can kind of see right there, all I can see is neutral and four low. You know, four high and two wheel drive is all cut off. And I don't have room for the light on this stuff, but I'm really not too worried. It covers up the carpet hole. And that'll work for me. So here's the sad part. This is about how much I cut off of my transfer case boot. Got rid of that entire side. That side we lost two high and four high. Now, like I said, you could adjust it so that it would fit. I had to take apart all of the slide mechanism within the little deal. That's the backing plate. Here's the indicator that shifts up and down that shows you what you're in, for high, for low, all that. But the light on my dash still does work. So, and I know the position of that, that transfer case. So I'll know if I'm in four wheel drive or not. Not to mention there's locking hubs manual on it. 
But that's what I opted to go for. You know, take your pick. Do whatever you want to do.